so looking at the world through the eyes of a child. So this is Bahriya town, Islamabad. So often it's thought that the land of Pakistan, which has a population, I think more or less, of 300 million people. But this morning we're looking at the world through the eyes of a child. So when you're looking at the world through the eyes of a child, we should take a step back before um, we look at that. So let's have a look at where all this thinking starts from. Because thoughts are very interesting things. And these thoughts have to come from somewhere. So they may be travelling through the TV. Or they may be travelling through the radio. <laughs> they may be travelling through sound. They may be travelling through your eyes. So think of a hundred thousand people that may watch the World Cup final. I have no idea, it may not be a hundred thousand people. But a hundred thousand people are traveling from various parts of the world at the moment to Qatar. Now when these people are traveling, they have a mission, they have a focus, and they have a goal. And everything is organized in, in specific ways for them to actually travel and reach the destination in this case the football stadium where they will have joy pleasure happiness or perhaps on the other side of the coin is that the game is lost and they will have sadness for a little while so just like thoughts they're traveling around and ultimately they will have emotions and the emotions will eventually drive how they act so looking at the world through the eyes of a child so the child sees ice cream and all they think is ice cream ice cream mama ice cream and they're shouting at the top of the voices in the supermarket and all they're focused on is ice cream ice cream the emotions are about ice cream their physical state is demanding ice cream so as we overtake a few vehicles about as we <laughs> mixed up in the traffic so looking at the world through the eyes of a, of a child the state is ice cream ice cream ice cream so those thoughts and those experiences of the child or us as adults for that matter those thoughts have to come from somewhere they have to go through our system happy or sad or however it is that ultimately has a effect on our physiology and drives our state to be de demanding the ice cream now if we get the ice cream or if our team wins therefore we feel good and great and our behaviors are positive if we're in a state of don't feel too good because the team lost or i didn't get the ice cream now our state is different and our behaviours will follow. So as Ali has said to me quite a few times already, are we there yet? Are we there yet? And are we there yet? And my answer to that is, what do you see? What do you see? And I'm attempting to keep her engaged. So she can see the park now. Now suddenly, the glaze on her face, the looks in her eyes. 
and the physiology has changed com completely. The roads are getting busier, so physiology has changed completely. Suddenly, your face has become light, and the cheeks have become red, and the state is totally different. And her behaviour is likely to be to follow because she's going to be a happy child. So look, as an adult, so look, do those things as well that help you get into a great state and give you great behaviour. And actions and results will follow. You will be more healthy, you will be more happier. However, the biggest thing to do is to learn how to control your emotions. Find a great coach, find a great teacher. And get yourself at the level of hypno thinking where you can question your internal thoughts and you can decide which thoughts you want to live in your head, in your mind because do not let anyone live in your mind rent free, it's your space keep it clean, keep it shining keep it a place that gives you peace and happiness have a wonderful uh, blessed day and keep travelling on your roads that give you sunshine and happiness and may you reach your positive path we're following the Mercedes of taxis the job that these guys do in this country is unbelievable So looking at the world through innocence, just seeing for no filters. So we are traveling and our focus today is the Ayub National Park in Islamabad. Islamabad is the federal capital of Pakistan, a wonderful green city, hosting an international airport, hosting international universities and hosting a range of embassies, high commissions, hotels, parks, sports complexes and much, much, much more. So... So welcome to the Simba Tower, which is 120 rupees, which is round about 50 pence. And I think this must be the ride that they're referring to. But I'm really interested in the language here. It says, make queue, wait for your turn and cooperate with security staff. So if they ask you for loads of money, just give it to them. Follow the safety instructions and use at your blank risk. So I find language so interesting because I'm always confused. <laughs> I'm always confused. There's three, four languages consistently going through the mind and the brain. So you should always say what you mean say what you mean and mean what you say your life will be extremely easy when you say what you mean and mean what mean what you say and if you think about what you're saying and you think about the words that you're going to put in the order before you actually say them because if you put a a i e o u in the wrong place the words can change completely So a sock can become very ill and a sock can become very kinesthetic at the same time which is the basis of a lot of things. Think about that. Because communicators are some of the greatest earners in the world and your life will also become magic. 
because some, sometimes our lives are a little bit like this depending on where we are and what we're doing. They can be downside up and sometimes they can be upside down. Sometimes life will be very still and sometimes lives will fall the other way. Lives will be still and lives sometimes have a thrill. But the important thing is keep control of your emotions and know what you're thinking. And you can question your thoughts. You can be confident and charismatic. You can be full of energy and full of fun. You could have a lot of movement in your life. Or you can just hang around. So you may be thinking, well, <coughs> excuse me, Faze is speaking, Javez is speaking a lot of lies and somebody's shouting to me. What? Night time in Ayub National Park, Islamabad, Pakistan. <laughs> Jaws of a different kind. Uh, Ayub National Park in Islamabad. I'm currently still in Islamabad and I just started giggling to myself about this mindset and how sometimes people are not prepared to uh, work hard, do the things that they're supposed to do in order to have some sort of success at some sort of level. And people are sometimes not seeing the miracles that are around them all of the time like the ability to breathe, hear, see, feel, have warm food, cold food, warm house, cold house, fast car, slow car, and they're looking for miracles. So, <laughs> is what they're hoping to do is this, is they're hoping to find something like, is find something like this, and expect miracles just to happen. Well, they happen all of the time. I am telling you, there's miracles around you all of the time. So count your blessings, they're infinite in number. As it says in Quran, Get a translation from a mufti and get them to explain that to you. A professor of religion will explain that to you. Be blessed and keep counting them. Hey, I have a question. Do you sometimes get lost? Well, right now we are lost. So we, <laughs> we are lost, we parked the car somewhere, not sure exactly where, uh, on the road as I come in to the distance, we have a, <laughs> we found a knight on the road, <laughs> on a horse, he's the prince looking for the lost princess, we've managed to, oh, oh, there's light everywhere, we've managed to uh, go off track as we were following someone's, someone else's directions. And we're heading down some real dark track. So from a point of view of being lost, sometimes we do get lost, but there's always some light. Sometimes you need to ask questions, ask different people questions, dig deep and dig hard and work hard and bite for those centimetres and inches and feet and metres in order to get back on track and find your goal. And I can hear somebody trotting, but I can't see any. So, <laughs> somebody trotting can't see a thing. It's pitch dark. Trying to understand where it's coming from, and the uh, what do you call him? The uh, the rider of the cart is that what, what his name is? The rider of the cart. The rider of the cart is saying to us, "Can't you see where you're going? Will you please get off the road?" Look, but we managed to we managed to find some lights. The darkness is disappearing, and the light is appearing. So in situations like this, the question that often arises, or one of many questions that arises is in my mind is, how many things that have you completed now, have you done now, that when you look back and you think, how did I do that? 
and we have challenges that we're facing right now in all areas of our lives and we think I can't do that I'm not good enough the dog ate my homework type of excuses and with the right support and with the right questions right the correct people around asking for the right things and keeping focus on the goals we managed to achieve something so if you're listening Aklima Ali I'm talking to you if you're listening Rebecca Stainsby I'm talking to you if you're listening Muhammad Ali I'm talking to you if you're listening John Mason I'm talking to you if you're listening Nathan I'm talking to you remember the times when you said we can't do it and you did it and you got success so congratulations to you because we worked hard we kept focused and what did we do together as we get nearly run over by a car is what did we do the elephant straight out of the room oh yes I look through the darkness at the zoo we found the car park somehow after walking for miles and miles and we managed to find our vehicle so when you're a traveler and you are a little bit of a nutty traveler <laughs> like me and you just love getting lost in places and just finding places and discovering things and having new experiences you will also find the car of your mind and you will also be able to drive the car and be the driver of the car of your mind and then you can decide whether you want to go left whether you want to go right whether you want to go in a straight line whether you want to drive fast or slow because now you have choices and now you are driving the hypno mind of your car I'll say that again you are driving the hip your hypno mind because you are the driver of your car